Are you looking for your perfect match? Is gonna light it up like dynamite. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over a list of online dating websites for those who are interested in dating people from Korea. Now, if this doesn't sound like the perfect set of online dating websites for you, no worries, we've got a perfect solution for you, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz is going to ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, it's going to let you know what the perfect online dating website is for you personally. So if you'd like to take this quiz, you can do so by jumping down into the description down below or by clicking the link that's popping up above my head right here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So again, if you'd like to save yourself some money, check out our description down below or click on the link that's popping up above my head right here. So without further ado, let's jump into number one on the list, which is Korean Cupid. Starting with the user demographics, Korean Cupid is a dating app Korean singles simply love and use all of the time. It is owned by Cupid Media, who are known for hosting many international online dating websites. It is one of the first dating platforms that appeared in this region, and it remains pretty strong with hundreds of thousands of active users every week. All of its users are from South Korea, and there is an almost equal number of Korean women and men using this dating service. The demographic makeup shows that the user base is quite young and over 70% of its users are aged somewhere between the ages of 20 and 35 years old. This makes a lot of sense because most older Korean people tend to avoid dating platforms and still prefer traditional dating. There are plenty of international users who want to pursue Asian dating or move there who want to see whether there are potential South Korean partners for them. So now that we know the types of users utilizing this website, let's move on to the ease of use. Korean Cupid exists both as a dating website and as a dating app that is available for both Android and iOS devices. Setting up your account is pretty fast and simple because all of the information you have to provide them is your name, age, and email. You are allowed to upload as many photos as you wish, but make sure they are elegant and sophisticated because all offensive content will be taken down and you might get suspended as well. Once you have filled out your profile with basic information, you will have to answer a short questionnaire about your preferences that will help the algorithm to find your perfect match. You can describe your soulmate's ideal lifestyle, career, looks, and education, and KoreanCupid.com will find a person that matches your description. Dating profiles on this matchmaking app are great and very informative so you should find out a lot about somebody before you actually reach out to them. So this is going to move me on to number two on my list. But before I did that, I did want to ask you guys to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help us out with that YouTube algorithm and it pushes our videos out so that more users can utilize this information that we're giving out here on Online for Love. We super duper appreciate it. So this is going to move me on to number two on my list, which is Korean dating. Starting with the user demographics, Korean dating is also a dating app that has been around for quite some time and it has loyal users. The whole platform works in a similar concept like eHarmony and is super easy to use, which attracted plenty of older people to it as well. The demographic makeup of this platform shows that the user base is pretty diverse and there are men and women aged anywhere between 20 and 60 years old. Some of them are looking for serious relationships like users on eHarmony would, and there are others who are looking for a more casual hookup like people on Be Naughty or Ashley Madison would. But the truth is that it brings much success to everybody who tries it out. So now that we know the types of users who are utilizing this website, let's move on to the of use. Korean dating is an app that is available for smartphones and can also be installed on some computers and laptops. The sign-up process is fast just like other dating websites, but what sets it apart from other apps is the fact that you can create a video profile and send video messages to everyone you find interesting. This is a great option for all of our extroverts and it makes the whole dating process a lot more interesting and interactive. You can also stick with a regular profile and add much more information and photos as you wish, and you can choose the facts that you want to stick out on your profile. There are plenty of chat rooms where people can discuss anything from K-pop to sports to cooking, which can help you find your perfect match easily. So this is going to move me on to number three on my list, but before I went into that, I did want to ask you guys our question of the day. And the question of the day today is, who is your favorite K-pop band? I have to say me personally, guilty pleasure, it's Blackpink 100%. But let me know your favorite band in the comments down below. So this is going to move me on to number three on my list, which is Sky People. Sky People in Korea is what Elite Singles dating platform is to the rest of the world because it allows only wealthy and highly educated people to join its platform and start the search for their soulmates. Males are dominant on this platform and they make up 75% of users, but it seems like it is still a very valuable platform to everybody who uses it. 
All of its users belong to a higher social class and have attended prestigious universities and hold high positions in different companies. It is not made only for dating, but also for connecting with career-oriented people and establishing useful friendships. Over 90% of its users are located in Seoul, and there are also plenty of Koreans who are part-time working in New York City. The community is also very strict and close, and you can't really find much about it unless you get accepted. So now that we know the types of users who are utilizing this website, let's move on to the ease of use. Sky People has a website and it is designed in a similar way to social media like Instagram or Twitter. People are allowed to post statuses, stories, and their own photos every day, and people they have matched with can see all of that. You will have to fill out a very long personality test once you have joined, but before that, you will have to provide the platform with a proof of your diploma or workplace. The results of your personality test will give the platform enough information so they can connect you with like-minded individuals. So this is gonna move me into number four on my list, but before I did that, I did wanna remind you guys about our deals page. So before you sign up for any online dating website, you have to check out our deals page because it's a host of online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. So this is going to move me onto number four on my list, which is Asian Mingle. Starting with the user demographics, Asian Mingle is an app that has been around for some time now and it connects Asian singles with the whole continent. South Koreans make up more than 20% of its users in total, so this is also a great option for all of you interested in dating Koreans. Its users are usually a bit older for dating websites and they are somewhere between the ages of 26 and 43 years old, and more than 80% of them are looking for serious long-term relationships that will eventually lead or turn into marriage. There are plenty of filters and features that allow members of the LGBTQ community to start their search for the perfect partner as well, and this is one of the rare dating options in Korea for this community. So now we know the types of users who are utilizing this website, let's move on to the ease of use. Asian Mingle is an app that is unfortunately only available for those who have Android devices, at least for now, but it seems like that doesn't affect its popularity whatsoever. The design is very simple and clear and allows you to navigate the homepage with ease and see several dating profiles at once. So you can sign up through an email or a Facebook account and you are allowed to upload five pictures of yourself. To start using the app successfully, you'll have to agree to share your location with this app so that it can match you with people who are close to your surroundings. Messaging other people is very easy because all you have to do is click on the discussion option on their profile, but it seems like most bugs and problems occur in this section as well. Users often complain about not being able to reach out to other people or being unable to see their own private messages, which can be a big problem on a platform like this. There were also some bugs regarding the dating profiles as well, and the app has actually messed up where the photos of other people's profiles were showing up on other profiles and accounts. So this is going to move me on to number five on my list, but before I jumped into that, I did want to ask you guys again to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help push our YouTube videos out into the YouTube world so that more users can get this information that we're giving out here on Online for Love, we super duper appreciate it. So this is going to move me on to number five on my list, which is no other than Tinder. Starting with the user demographics, Tinder is probably the most popular dating app in the whole world and everybody seems to be swiping their way to find their perfect match. It is very popular among younger people in South Korea and teenagers and young adults use it daily. The demographic makeup of Tinder in South Korea is pretty young and more than 80% of its users are between the ages of 18 and 31 years old and all of them are looking for all different types of relationships. There is a slightly larger amount of men on this platform but I still believe that won't make finding true love a problem. It also offers filters for the LGBTQ plus community and helps them connect with similar people in their surroundings which is an amazing feature. So now that we know the types of users who are utilizing this website, let's move on to the ease of use. You are probably familiar with the fact that Tinder exists primarily as a dating app and that it can be downloaded both via the Android and iOS devices. The main feature of this platform that made it so popular in the first place is its swiping feature. You can swipe right on somebody if you do want to match with them, and if you're not interested in them, you can swipe left. And if both users swipe right on each other, then you got a match made and you can freely message each other. The sign-up process won't last more than a minute and involves you uploading some photos, and you can create your own original description that will make you pop out on other people's home pages. A large number of fake profiles are present on this dating app as well, so be very careful with fishy profiles, and this is especially true if you are a male user. Just try to ignore them unless you are pretty sure that they are real people. Tinder's algorithm 
algorithm is based on your location as well, so the people that pop up on your homepage will be all living in your city or even in your area. Since it has millions of users, you can be sure that there is a large number of Tinder users in every city in South Korea, and finding a potential match won't take you too much of your time. So if none of these online dating websites seem to appeal to you, no worries, I've got a great solution for you, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz is going to ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, it's going to let you know what the perfect online dating platform is for you personally. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. That being said, if you guys want to see some more content from us, be sure to check out the videos popping up on my left and right here. And I did want to ask you guys again our question of the day, which was, who is your favorite K-pop band? Let us know in the comments down below. That being said, be sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Super duper appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys here next time on Online for Love. See ya.